At Summit Learning and Technology, we understand how important achieving certification can be to you. It is our goal to help you obtain your certification with content and practice exams that have been specifically written to cover the official certification objectives published by Autodesk. Our practice exams that are delivered through our exclusive learning browser, right inside the software, are designed to simulate the questions you will experience when you take an official Autodesk exam. Let me show you how it works. In AutoCAD, I launch the learning browser and select the practice exam that I want to take. Before I start the exam, I am given some instructions on how to navigate the course and a list of objectives that are covered. When I get to the first question, I can switch to hands-on mode to dock the learning browser on the side of the screen. In the question where it indicates I need to open a file, I can simply click the link provided and a clean version of the dataset is downloaded and opened automatically. Then I perform the steps that I am instructed to and enter the value into the answer field. Notice that when I click Submit, it tells me right away if I got the answer correct. On the next question, rather than typing the value into the answer field, notice how I copy the value from the command line and then paste it. If I get stuck on a question or want to skip it and come back to it, I can flag it. Notice that all the objectives are listed in the menu. So if I need to, I can skip to a specific question. When I answer a question, I am given several tries to answer it correctly, but if I still get the answer wrong, I can review some general feedback about the topic of the question. I can even toggle between presentation mode and hands-on mode in the learning browser to view the content. When I get to the end of the exam, it asks me if I want to submit all of the questions. At this point, I have the opportunity to go back and answer any that I have skipped. The scorecard displayed at the end of the course displays my score on the exam and lets me know if I have passed. It also gives me a list of all the questions and indicates which ones I got correct. Each question can also be reviewed by clicking on the question link. If I am taking the exam from within one of Summit's certification preparation courses, there is also additional content for each of the questions that I got incorrect available from the menu. Notice that in this case, I missed the UCS question. So in the menu, I select the user coordinate system objective. Most objectives will contain a video and a step-by-step -step exercise I can follow. The exercises have links, similar to the exam questions, that will automatically download and open a clean dataset file. The objectives for both the certified user and the certified professional exam are covered in some of our courses. Therefore, each objective will have icons that indicate which exam they are covered on. When there is additional reference information about a topic, I simply click on the images to see the information about that topic. Back to the scorecard, notice that you also have the opportunity to retake the exam if necessary. Thank you for taking the time to let me show you how Summit can help you achieve your certification goals. For a full list of courses and practice exams we offer, please visit our website at www.summitlt.com.